Okay, buckle up, because this is my fourth bullish video about platinum. And before we begin, I want to be clear. Good old Doc Stackers is not anti-platinum. And I do my best to discuss the often shunned and forgotten gray metal called platinum. In reality, every metal, gold, silver, and platinum have their role in stacking and creating a balanced portfolio. We truly can't forget any of these metals because there are always these swings of the pendulum where one metal may be over or undervalued, over or underbought, or their historic ratio is so out of whack that it presents an incredible opportunity for wealth creation. While platinum has been getting its Tom Petty on, you know, free, free falling. Okay, never mind. Gold and silver have been a better place to put your stacking dollars. So platinum didn't get much love. And looking back, it's clear that since 2021, platinum has been bottoming and developing a base, which makes it far more attractive. Just like I'm drawn to attractive women, I'm drawn to attractive metals. Uh, that sounds weird, doesn't it? Anyway, you know what I mean. Regardless, at every school and almost every class, there is at least one student in that class that doesn't know how to act right. Well, I have two over on Discord, and they would have you believe that we're an upside-down world because I'm actually talking positively about platinum. So I encourage you not to get caught up in their nonsense. And I have to admit, I was a little skeptical at first because I like to under-promise and over-deliver. However, the case for Platinum has now become extremely compelling. And if you've seen the previous videos, I need you to give me 30 seconds to quickly recap why Platinum is so compelling right now with my top five reasons. And then I will get into why the train is about to leave the station. And you, so you need to decide if you're going to get on this Platinum train or not. Why what we are seeing in Platinum is extremely good for gold and silver and the true wealth creation opportunity I see. First... No metal is taking a beat down like platinum over the last 15 years. I mean, it's like John Cena came in and gave it the finishing move. Second, automotive companies have already started the long process of swapping platinum for palladium since palladium has had an insane run from around $175 in 2008 all the way up to $2,900 in 2022. Talk about a price move and a money-making opportunity. Third is the future and expanded usage. While it was discovered in 1557, we didn't actually figure out what to do with platinum until the 1750s and the 1800s because of its extremely high melting point. And actually what we really started with was we used it for jewelry. And a little fun fact, Russia was the first country to use platinum as money in the 1820s. And during World War II, the United States actually declared it a strategic metal and banned its use in all, all non-military applications which actually didn't change until the 1970s. So looking forward, Platinum will maintain heavy use in diesel trucks, as well as assist in the development of fuel cell vehicles, which is very bullish for the metal. Four, historic ratios. While I've covered this in previous videos, based on historic ratios, Platinum is cheap in comparison to gold and cheap in comparison to silver, which sets it up to potentially outperform both metals. Five, price to value. At today's prices, around $1,050, you're able to buy this metal below the AISC, the all-in sustained cost of around $1,110, meaning miners are just breaking even at these price levels, which is not a very good business model. So prices have to go up or the miners could stop bringing product to market or withhold it completely. And a bonus number six, power outages that continue to persist in South Africa, and I'll come back to that in a second. Now let's pretend that all of that was not good enough to convince you that you should be holding some platinum, especially as we've seen gold and silver really take off and platinum is having a mini pullback. Well, let's talk about that platinum train I referenced. As I mentioned, the power issues in South Africa is going to place significant pressures on production. How bad are those issues? Take a look at this chart that shows you the number of days each month that power usage had to be cut during 2022. What happened when this information was released in late April? Great question as well. We immediately saw money flows into platinum ETFs. Why is that so significant? Another great question. Take a look at this chart. And while I won't use the word correlation, your eyes clearly notice how ETF flows and prices generally move with one another. We also saw these flows were at the highest level ever recorded. And while I'm not into the macroeconomic prediction game, there are many that believe that there will be a resurgence of inflation, especially once the Fed cuts rates. That's particularly important because most people think about gold as being the best hedge against inflation. But according to research from Wainwright Economics, all three metals are the best leading indicators of inflation over all the other commodities. However, platinum performs the best. For example, gold increased by 26% in 2007, but platinum increased by 32%. In addition to that, platinum responds two months sooner than silver and four months before gold, 
in high inflationary environments. So even if you don't purchase platinum, it's price action is still something gold and silver investors should watch as it may be giving you early warning to what may happen with the metals. Continue with this theme of platinum being an early price responder, which is where things actually really get interesting for you silver bugs. I'll warn you that these charts will be coming up pretty quickly and they won't stay up long, so pause or take a screenshot. As you can see in this chart, circled in red, how before there was a big run up in silver's price, you saw an increase, a steady increase in platinum. You see this increase first as silver remains in what is somewhat of a price range, and then silver has that massive price move. This next chart focuses in a little more where you can see that price separation even clearer. Now, let's talk about three relatively easy ways you can use information to help you make some real money. Option one, simply buy platinum because it's undervalued and sell it at the top for another asset. Option two, use platinum as a trend confirmation and a leading indicator to signal when you should actually be more prepared for that extreme move that tends to happen in silver so that you, maybe, you can maybe stack harder or allocate more funds to silver and gold. And three, ratio swapping. And ratio swapping is a little bit of a tricky thing, but I'll try to explain it very briefly here. Whether you either use the price run up in platinum before silver makes this move to simply swap from platinum into silver because you have made some money in platinum and then you could use that to buy more silver, or you can take that one step further and simply swap back and forth whenever the platinum to silver ratio is at extremes. Now you don't even have to wait for the extremes like you see here of like 140 and, and 40 or, or below, but you could do a tight range of 120 to maybe 80 or 70 and keep that rather relatively conservative and what you can do is you can keep swapping back and forth each time picking up a few ounces so when the ratio is at 120 you take your platinum and you get 120 ounces for silver and then when the ratio drops down to 70 or so you take your silver and then you get platinum and you go back and forth and you can actually uh, very effectively in a very safe way increase your true wealth by increasing your ounces that you are actually holding by simply holding and swapping metals. Now, I admit that was a very brief explanation of ratio swapping, and so if you'd like for me to go into greater detail on this topic, let me know in the comments and I'm sure I can put a video together about that. Ultimately, it doesn't matter which option best fits your particular strategy. Given the run-ups we've seen in silver and gold in response to these bank failures, this pullback in platinum makes it one of the best value options in the market, especially as we've seen gold and silver premiums go through the roof. And so what am I doing? Well, this morning I was able to score the lowest price from on the web that I could find for this one ounce platinum bar that I got from where? You know it from my boys over at Pimbex, they had the lowest price of 1120 for this ounce of platinum. So as you know, I'm not a financial advisor and I can't give advice, but given the data, meaning how historically undervalued platinum is, its responsiveness to inflationary environments and its tendency to lead precious metals bull market, I think platinum is something you need to at least pause and consider. And not to fear monger or be a hypester, but I do believe the window of opportunity is closing quickly as metals are quickly heating up. And if we agree that platinum moves first, then who knows how long you have to take advantage of platinum being the first out of the gates. Let me remind you, last year, platinum finished somewhere around 10% positive while gold was neutral and silver was down a good bit. Just food for thought. In the comments, what do you think about platinum being this early responder? And what keeps you from investing in platinum? Is it the buying and selling aspect or the lack of familiarity and popularity of the metal? Do you think that Doc Stackers is anti-platinum? And don't forget to put an A plus in the gray book because sometimes you need proof that you always stack smarter and never stop learning.